So I'm realizing that I don't really have the best places to shoot in my house. So I added this tree here for some drama and pizzazz. Did it help? Am I dramaful? Am I pizzazzful? I'm doing this video because I'm finally doing something that I've wanted to do for the past four years and that's start a YouTube channel. I've wanted to do this for such a long time but honestly I hate to admit I let fear stop me. Fear of what? I don't know. Fear of maybe getting out of my comfort zone which has always been a problem for me. I'm making my 2016 New Year's resolution early. I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone more and this is the way that I'm gonna start. So I'm doing this channel for a couple reasons. One is I kind of want to monitor my growth. I'm in this weird transition stage where I have to go from being a student to being a grown-up and I really haven't quite figured out how to get from here to here quite yet. So I'm kind of working on that. I was never that kid that knew exactly what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be a princess. I wanted my dad thought it was really funny. I wanted to be a princess for the longest time. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be a wedding gown designer. I've never wanted to be anything practical. And I really wish I did. I remember willing myself as a kid to want to be a doctor, or to want to be a lawyer, or to want to be an engineer, or to be a typical Nigerian woman and be a nurse. But those things were just never me. Being on social media, you see it on Facebook, you see it on Instagram, you see it on Twitter, you see it on LinkedIn, you see it on all these different places that people are doing all these great things. They have these great jobs in LA and New York and Houston and Tokyo. And you just hear chilling like, well, you know, my time hasn't come quite yet, but I know God has a plan for me and he will never leave or forsake me. So I'm kind of in that stage where I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want to do with my life. The second reason I want to make this channel has to do with my name, my screen name. My YouTube name is Incurious George, which is playing my name, Incurious. And it also combines the books Curious George, which I loved growing up because I, I truly consider Curious George, like the children's book character, to be my spirit animal. I was just like him. He was always getting in trouble, not because he was a bad kid or a bad monkey, I guess, but it's because he always just wanted to learn. He just always wanted to know about things. He just wanted to just soak in all this knowledge. And that's why I consider myself to be like Curious George. I'm a very curious person. Some people may say nosy, but you know, potato, potato. It's like, I wanna just learn about everything that's around me. I just moved back to Minnesota from Missouri where I went to school for five years. When I would tell people, oh, I'm moving back to Minnesota, I'm like, well, what's in Minnesota? And I'm like, you know, I don't really know. If you know Nigerian parents, or if you have Nigerian parents, you know that we were on lockdown, we couldn't leave the house for nothing. So I didn't really get to know my home state. Now I'm in a point in my life where I can have the freedom to go explore and learn things and figure out what it is that makes Minnesota what it is. So I have a few different ideas for my channel. I'm birthing something which I'm going to be calling the Curiosity Campaign. There's going to be a lot of different pieces to it. I maybe want to pose questions of the day and speak on that, survey people about various things which I've already done. I want to maybe talk about culture because this is a very cultural city, maybe things in entertainment, politics but I mean people get a little sensitive about that so I mean I don't know we'll see or maybe do cooking videos because okay I wouldn't say that I can't cook but you know people that throw down in the kitchen well I kind of place down gently and I want to throw down too and it's so funny whenever I say that people are like oh your husband would be so happy your husband would be so lucky to have you bump him I want to learn from myself I want to sustain myself. I'm not learning to please some man who at this point in time is non-existent and who knows if he ever will. Be. Actually, you know what, let me not say that because as a Nigerian woman, not getting married is almost a faith worse than death. So let me not put that in the universe. So yes, I hope you embark with me on this journey. Embark. That's correct, right? Because I know I can embark on the journey, but can you embark with me? See, that's what happens when you try to sound smart. I hope you come with me on this journey as I birth in Curious George. If there's any suggestions, I'm very open to them. I will see you next time on my channel. Stay curious.